I suggest you make a really good friend of your butcher. That's the only person on this planet that can tell you about what you are buying. Flatten! Three quarters have elapsed. It's really important in frying to not crowd the pan. It makes a mess and it lowers the temperature of the oil to the point where it can't recover its heat quickly. Great. A grater is anything but a unitasker. These babies can tear through tons of stuff like garlic, ginger, and hard cheeses. I hope I don't have to eat gelatin. The wiggliness makes me gag. If I give you a good score, I want to eat at your restaurant for free. I expect to taste inspiration. Plate! Although some dishes have dozens of components involved, in the end, they have to all come together to make one cohesive dish. Practiced Iron Chefs know that the points awarded for presentation can easily make or break a total battle score. Plate! Besides containing considerable amounts of iron, parsley is also good for freshening the breath. Fine knife work can be used to create elaborate garnishes out of smaller vegetables, fruits, and herbs. Plate! Prodigious proliferations of unnecessary garnishes aren't usually preferred. We've been watching with great curiosity, Chef. Please, let us taste your dishes. Yucky! I wouldn't even feed this to the dog in my purse. A fiery blend of bad and worse. This dish only seems straightforward, but you let us discover the richness for ourselves. I wouldn't say there are any mistakes here, it's just a little short on excitement. Chef, please enlighten our palates with your innovative creations. Seems the secret ingredient has ignored me like the girls in high school. Uh, no offense, but I've had burps taste better.
The presentation is just lovely and a joy to eat. It's like unwrapping a present. A worthy experiment, although I would argue Kitchen Stadium may not be the venue for it. Today, two culinary masters met to wage an all-out battle here at Kitchen Stadium. The judges have spoken. And the winner is... The challenger! This combination of time constraints and unconventional theme ingredients seems to have impeded my natural abilities. Sadly, we are at the end. I introduce to you all a special challenger in this illustrious competition. The only competitor who does not already hold the title of Iron Chef. Welcome, Chef, to Kitchen Stadium! to start an epic battle. A match of skills and creativity previously unseen. You will battle. Oh. Iron Chef, Sharon Su. I hope you're well prepared. Tonight, the chairman has prepared for us a devilishly clever theme to test culinary supremacy. This ultimate tournament of gastronomic superstars continues to <laughs> amuse the judges. In the end, one chef will leave with a hearty helping of victory and the other will be cast aside with the leftovers. And with that witty banter, let us turn to our chairman so that we all may assess the difficulty of his latest challenge. Chefs, there is one final ingredient to this battle. Our secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is... Artichoke hearts? Oh. I like cuisine! Kitchen Stadium and its theme ingredient altar are a cruel mistress indeed. Throwing a curveball at these two chefs, let us away to the cooking and see what shakes out. Faust playwright Johann Wolfgang Goethe couldn't condone Italian peasants' practice of eating thistles and said as much in his book, Travels to Italy. This, for the likely, didn't change the dietary habits of Italians. Shop! <laughs> 